Hey everyone, this is the one true Sir Salty, and I have been getting questions about the God Skin Duo, and why it's so hard. Truthfully, no one has personally asked me that, but I assume many have asked the question before and have looked up similar videos like this. So, this is what I'm going to show you on how to make it easy on yourself. If you know about sleep pots, then good for you, but if not, here it is. This is where you get the recipe. It is southeast of the site of grace there at Summon Water Village. There will be a corpse that is sitting up and it has the recipe on it. After that, it's a fact of farming mushrooms and getting Trina's lilies. There are two good spots for mushrooms, which is one by the village of the Elvernat and Folly of the Lake in uh, Lake Lunaria. Trina's lilies are hard to come by and they do not spawn in the open world, but there are ways to farm them, such as killing clean rot knights, which is not the greatest, a 2% drop rate, or jellyfish, specifically the ones that spawn at apostate derelict in the consecrated snowfield. They spawn right outside the church, but some of them are flying, so they kind of are annoying to farm. After that, you can then make your sleep pods, and I suggest maybe have, uh, making about five five to seven of them just in case. So as you can see from my current footage, I tend to just throw one at each of them. That'll put them to sleep for quite a while. And now when I have them all set up the way I want, I start buffing and get ready to go to town. This is a basic kind of fire base build with some decent buffs and it works wonders. The main goal is to do as much poise damage as possible. That's why I jump in and then do my flaming strike, which does a lot of poise damage and then get a good R2 attack in and it's enough to break his poise and get the critical. And make sure to keep on swinging because you can still do a little bit more damage to them after they're dead. I do it much more cleaner against the, the, the next guy, as you can see. Pretty much after you get the crit, They'll be trying to stand up and do their, their half health buff, but that's easy enough to finish them. And to keep attacking after, even though they are dead, you get a couple free hits in to do more damage to the, the health bar. And the other one will spawn one more time, and it's as simple as just throwing another pot at them and go into town again. And as you can see here, you can hit him as he's about to fall asleep and it rack up even more damage, breaking him that much faster. Well, I guess it's time that we wrap this up. Didn't end up doing enough damage to them when they were already dying, so I couldn't quite finish them off there. But that's what more sleep pods are for. And there you have it, now you can trivialize the Godskin Duo, boss. Good luck out there, and catch you on the next one. Thanks.